Grace and peace to you today. How'd you get us in that little bitty box? The Lord be with you, Jason. And also with you, Rob. <laughs> and with you. Welcome to a special thing that we are doing, which we're calling... Uh, um, witness. Witness. That's Jason's name. This is... when and. Not the thing we're doing, but this thing that we're doing, the, uh, mm-hmm. the pseudo-podcast that uh, Rob and I um, are going to be in charge of for a little while. A couple of years, couple I think. Of years, yeah. And witness, like, that's like, can I get a witness, right? It's exactly like that. Okay. All yeah, right. It actually comes from um, a professor I had at Duke, J. Cameron Carter, and he was talking about Genesis, which we're going to get to okay. much later, and, uh, and he said, yeah... Um, God created with, and he said, I call that witness. Okay. And it sounds so much like witness. So it's not the thing that I promise to support the church with when I take my membership vows, my prayers, my presence, my gifts, my service, and my witness. No, it's not at all. It's although, although that, I think that might preach. We support the church with our with as well as our witness. It's actually more along the lines of what we're going to do here today. Uh, um, and for the next two years, we're going to um, journey with God. Mm-hmm. Um, we're going to engage Scripture as uh, the story of humans with God. That's right. If you've not been paying attention to your e-blast and social media and all the different ways that we communicate here at the church, we are beginning this very coming Sunday, September 17th, with something called the With God Life. And that's what we're going to talk about as we as we go. And we'll, we'll show you a little bit more about what that is, but it's going to be from Genesis through Revelation, our life with God, God with us, and us with God. And we hope it'll be transformative for you. And one of the reasons why we are doing this uh, extra thing every week is to give you some resources and a little preview of what's coming up in the Sunday message from Pastor Kelly Lynn or myself or whoever we or Jason or whoever will be preaching on that Sunday uh, but also some things that you can look at as a family if you're engaged as a family or just as an individual or perhaps in a small group or Sunday school sure. class now Rob we're not trying to replace any uh, Sunday school curriculum are we uh, absolutely. You will. No. No. We understand. Um, we, we fully expect Sunday school classes to continue on with their own curriculum. However, um, we want this to be something that our whole church engages with, sure. that affects our church and affects the community so that five years from now, we'll look back at the time that we spent in the scriptures exploring this life with God, this with God life. And say that was transformative. It was transformative for me. It was transformative for my family. It was transformative for my Sunday school class. It sure. was transformative for our church. So if I if I understand you correctly, you just want to um, help people prepare themselves for what they're going to experience in worship, um, and uh, and have some of the discussion questions, the three discussion mm-hmm. questions, um, unfold. During the sermon. That's right. All right. Now, this coming Sunday, we're going to be really giving an introduction. Pastor Kelly Lim will be talking about scriptures from Ephesians and uh, Revelation, where we will be uh, looking at God, how from the very beginning of time until the very end of time, God is with us. Mm -hmm. And when we read scripture, we need to read it with that understanding. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you... When you read scripture, when you go to your Bible, what's your what's the most common reason you pick it up? Man, look, you know, when, whenever we get pastors together and we scold each other, you know, if I open up the Bible, it's usually to um, to study it for you know from a, an aspect of gaining knowledge. I want to mm-hmm. gain knowledge about something. Right. Um, how about you? When you when you read scripture, what what do you what are you guilty of when you uh? <laughs> when you yeah, open up the Bible. I, I mean, one of the reasons I'm really looking forward to this is because I, I have to confess I'm, I'm lazy um, when it comes to really studying and reading Scripture, meditating on Scripture, uh, asking the questions of where is God in this? Where am I in this story? Um, I, I usually look to it either to uh, find a particular citation uh, or to uh, get my head inside a particular story for 
usually something I have to do, like a, a, a message or a lesson or teaching a Sunday school lesson or something like that. And uh, not enough, um, I won't say rarely, but not enough do I spend in Scripture for my own edification, right. for understanding how do I manage this life day to day and how do I find God in this life day to day? You know, Rob, I, um, I was thinking about this when we were preparing and I was like, I was sitting here thinking, how many, how many Bibles do you have? Oh, tons. I mean, put a number Probably on. more than I have guitars. <laughs> <laughs> That's so. That's a lot of Bibles. 100, 200. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> now, I guess, um, if I had to guess, uh, 27. Sure. When you think about how many Bibles are in this church, oh yeah, how many Bibles, or maybe even and in this room. And that's not counting right. That's not counting, you know, the Bibles that we have access to electronically. But different translations, different uh, different notes, uh, the uh, you know, different study Bibles, things like that. You know, uh, one of the reasons, one of the ways that we read Scripture that not a bad way. It's not bad that we anytime we open the Scripture, it's not bad unless we're right. trying to find, you know, a reason to persecute somebody, right? <laughs> but, you know, we have a problem, a specific problem. Yes. And we'll dive in and I'll go, you know, I, I'm, you know, I'm jealous of my neighbor's um, goat. And it so, all the time. right, yeah, yeah, exactly. And then you go in there and you go, oh, okay, this is what I do for that. You know, our youth, our student study Bibles, sometimes mm -hmm. we'll have a, a section where it says, have this problem, go to this scripture. Right. And um, again, we can't say that's bad because we've, we're, we're encouraging kids to get into the Bible, but but reading the written word of God is is more than that, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Let's let's. I think we'll get to um, the reasons why we're doing this, but first we want to do something that we're going to do every time, which is going to give you a couple of resources, and we'll get as we go along. We'll give you some resources that may be particular to the scriptures that we're studying, but here at the beginning of this. Uh, podcast, whatever this is, uh, we want to give you some really basic resources that will help you all the time uh, as we go. And they are actually a Bible and a, um, uh, a Bible and a book called The With God Life. That's the Spiritual Formation Bible, the Renovari Spiritual Formation Bible, and which has now been repackaged as the Life with God Bible. Uh, and it's this book by Richard Foster, Life with God, which I will warn you right now, the print on the Life with God Bible, if you were to order that from Amazon, the print is very small. And that's why you'll see us using our used copies of the Renovare uh, Spiritual Formation Bible. Um, but if you can see here, the editors and the writers that are involved with this thing, Walter Brueggemann, uh, Dallas Willard, Richard Foster, it's just incredible. The, Jesus. Yes. The, the talent that in, has invested time in this. <laughs> and one thing that, just to clear up a little bit of confusion, you'll hear us say, with God life, and they're, they're actually now calling it life with God, but we prefer the with God. Mm-hmm life. The emphasis is on the life that we are living. Yeah. So that's, that's something you may want to get your hands on and we'll, we'll provide you some links to where you can look at that online. Um, if you get a used copy of like Jason has here of the Renovare Spiritual Formation Bible, that's an excellent resource. And the supplemental materials that we're using a lot are in this little book, Life with God by Richard Foster and uh, Catherine Helmers. And if you dig around enough, sometimes you will find on the Amazon U section books like this that are, can you, there we go. Thanks, Rob. Mm -hmm. um, there's some, if you want to dive deeper, if you actually want to use it as a curriculum for your class or the small group, there are books like this. If you just walk into Rob's office at any time during the week. Yeah, we'll talk more about that as, <laughs> as we go. Uh, but so I want to ask three questions. Sure. Each week we're going to leave you with three questions that you can consider. And the, the three questions that I think are really important uh, for this first week are this. Mm -hmm. So what is the with God life? Why are we doing this? What's the goal? 
These are three questions that you can ask uh, it, yourself, you can ask your family, you can ask your small group. Mm -hmm. Wrestle with those as we get ready to hear the message on Sunday as we dive into this, um, what's going to be a long process. Sure. What is this with God life? What, what is this thing that we're, that we're embarking on together and why? And what's the goal? What do we want to be said at when we reach the end uh, of this? What do we hope for? And we're not going to give you the answers to these questions. They're for you to, to wrestle with. Typically, we're not going to give you the answers, but I will tell you where to find at least one version of the answers to those questions. Okay, where would you go? I would go right here uh, to our website. Uh, this is the um, uh, White Plains um, website under events, and we're going to have a page especially for the With God Life with our resources and things like that. These are what we've been putting out uh, in our e-blast, and as I said, it's on the website. Mm -hmm. And it says right here that the With God Life is an overview of biblical history from Genesis through Revelation through the lens of spiritual formation. In other words, how does this scripture shape us, transform us? Mm -hmm. And the purpose of it is to approach the whole story of Scripture in that way so that we can grasp how God has mediated God's presence with individuals and groups over the ages and how we respond to that. And our goal, our, our hope for this, is that we will experience the synergy that happens when we study the whole story of Scripture in depth, in community, in order to claim our place in God's story as we're being transformed into the likeness and character of Jesus. You know, the whole point of the United Methodist Church, the mission statement, is to make disciples for the transformation of the world. And it's our hope that we will be transformed, and so our world will be transformed by this process. You know, so much that we do um, centers around formation, and it's, it's really building from foundation to, uh, to roof, um, mm -hmm. You know, we want to build something that's solid uh, and that encourages other people to go out and build as well. Right. So we hope we'll see you this Sunday and in worship, uh, either hopefully in person. There's a real power to gathering in person for worship. Um, we want to encourage you to do that if at all possible. But we also know that many of you don't even live in this area. Many of the folks that we're connected to um, live out of this area. And so uh, we always offer an online worship uh, that's available on our website or YouTube or Facebook, any of those places. Um, and we, uh, if you can't make it in person, we hope we see you there. And uh, Jason and I will see you again yeah. next week and to next talk more about the With God Life. And what is next week? What is, what's, the, what's the topic? So next week, the 24th, September 24th, we'll be diving right into Genesis. So if you want to get a little bit ahead on that, you could read the first three chapters, Genesis mm -hmm. 1 through 3. Genesis. But yeah. for this coming Sunday, we'll be talking about a, just a, an introduction to the overall concept of it. Awesome. We look forward to seeing you then. Yeah, can't wait. Talk to you soon.